Today we received a very, very interesting and important video entitled Rogue One A Star Wars Story Creatures Featurette, where the creators behind the designs of the creatures for the film displayed what we can expect, but something huge was revealed in the background during the featurette. Before we begin though, I do want to say that this video will contain major, and I mean major, spoilers for Rogue One, and more specifically Darth Vader, so if you don't want to be spoiled, I really recommend checking out another video and steering clear of the comments. That is your official spoiler warning. Again, if you don't want to be spoiled, leave now. Okay, so at approximately 21 seconds into the featurette, as the lower half of the mercenary Moroff is being displayed, in the background we can see two huge reveals for Rogue One. If you look just to the right of the man in the costume, you can clearly see a sculpt of what looks to be Darth Vader without his suit, wearing a breathing apparatus. And if you look a bit farther to the right, concept art for what again looks to be Vader is also revealed. So looking at both the concept and the sculpt, we see both arms and legs are missing, and of course, it is wearing a breathing apparatus. The figure again, also just like Vader, appears to be severely burned. So what does all of this mean? Well, the scene this is likely used in is quite obvious. In the first trailer for Rogue One, we see a Bacta tank and a dark cloaked figure kneel before it. These designs revealed that the individual in the tank is now almost 100% Darth Vader and that he is recovering there. Whether or not this is a normal routine for Vader or whether or not he was just engaged in a battle that left him exhausted and injured is unknown. There was a theory that Vader was in a large engagement and was badly injured and was thus placed in the tank, evident why the Emperor would ask his royal guards to protect him there that we also see in the trailer. The theory also goes on to explain this is to serve as an explanation as to why the lightsaber duel in the first Star Wars was slower paced, and why Vader seemed a little bit off his game, for lack of a better word. The in-universe explanation being that the Vader we see in the first Star Wars has recently been injured. So that is the big spoiler, really, really intriguing. Huge thanks to my buddy Savoji for finding this, absolutely fantastic work. If you guys could do me a favor, Savoji also has a YouTube channel called Star Wars Legacy where he compiles footage from all the movies and makes great tributes and changes to the films which are honestly fantastic. If you have the time and could, I really suggest checking them out. His most recent one is particularly good. Link to his channel as well as the creature feature at will of course be in the description. So what do you guys think about all this? Very interested to know. Do you guys think that's Vader? To me it seems pretty certain, but who knows, it always could end up not being him. Also, how do you feel about Vader now being in the back to tank, or pretty much being in the back to tank? I know there were a ton of theories about it, myself included, making a few. How do you feel about the in-universe reasoning for Vader being slower paced in the first Star Wars? Do you like it, or do you think that won't be what the purpose serves? Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you want to get the word out, again with proper spoiler warning, be sure to share this video. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing to ensure you stay up to date with everything Star Wars related. If you would like to, follow me on Twitter, at Stupendous Wave, where we talk about Star Wars pretty much all day long. Thanks again so much for watching, don't forget to comment your thoughts, may the Force be with you, and have a great day.